This tutorial is on how to make a simple cookie cutter on Tinkercad. As you can see, this is a cookie cutter of a bird. Let me go over the process to make this. First, I'll look for an image on Google. For example, let's say I want to find a cute bird. I'll type in cute bird and I'll type in the word silhouette. Silhouette is basically an image that's solid in the foreground and white in the background. I'll go to image search over here. And let's say I want to use this image at the top right, right over here. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot. To do that, I'll hold down Control, Shift, and the button above the 6 on my Chromebook. I've taken a screenshot. Next thing I'm going to go to is picksvg.com, which will convert the image from a raster image to an SVG, as we discussed before. Click Upload a Picture. And I just need to find that screenshot I took. Give this a second to load up. Just to remind you, the screenshots usually work best when things are monochromatic. They're one color, preferably a dark color with a white background. I know that this is the one that I just took a screenshot of because I can look at the date modified and look at the date and the time. Click open. Give it a second to upload. And there it is. I'm going to choose a different filter. I like invert number one. The lines are usually a little bit smoother right there. Then I click download image SVG and you'll see it pop up over here. Next thing I'm going to do, I'll go back to Tinkercad, click on my import button, choose a file, and I'm going to look for that SVG file again. On the left hand side of my screen over here, make sure my download folder is selected. And once my download folder is selected, it usually is, it's highlighted in blue. There's the SVG that I downloaded from Pick SVG. I can look at the timestamp over here so I know that this is the one, the most recent one. Again, make sure you import the SVG, the scalable vector graphic. Click open and then click import. This green indicator over here shows you that it's importing. Click on it, press F to zoom in. As you can see, this is a little bit too big. I'll go to Edit Grid, change my units to inches first. I always like working in inches because we do everything in inches in this country. Once it's converted, now I can hold down Shift while grabbing that corner and make this smaller. Press F to zoom in. As you can see, it's about two and a half inches wide by about two inches tall, which is about a, a good size for a cookie. About less than two inches is pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is use my ruler tool, grab that and drop it on my work plane. Now I can, custom, I can change all the measurements, including the height. So I'll click on the height over here. Let's make it 0.5 so it's half an inch thick. And that's it. I'm done with my cookie cutter.